Aloha and welcome everybody. This is Aloha Mage Gaming and we're going to be cracking some packs in the 808 state. A little crab shack for you. Crab shack, crab shack. Uh, so what have we got for you guys and girls today? Well, we are going back to school. We're all going to be going back to school or college basically this time. Strixhaven School of Mages. So what have we got here? So we picked up the other day from Paula's books, the uh, cards, games, and sports cards. We picked up a set booster of Magic the Gathering, Strixhaven. So these are the set boosters. So now I know we did one, uh, we opened a box of set boosters and for Zendikar, the most recent Zendikar that they had out. And we, you know what, we weren't really, really impressed. And to be honest, I thought the product was completely, completely garbage. Um, compare with what you can get either out of a regular booster or out of a collector's boosters. So I much prefer the collector boosters myself. Uh, but however, um, seeing as they have changed up the buyer box promo, so now you're not getting your buyer box with your regular draft boosters, you're getting it with the set boosters. I figured that, you know, I need my promo because I need my magic crack. So I'm going to pick up a box anyways. So let's just refresh ourselves. What are we going to be looking for in Strixhaven School of Mages, our set boosters? So we have the five different colleges here. We have Silver Quill, which is going to be our black-white color combo, uh, Prismari, uh, blue-red, with a bloom, black-green, Lawhold, red-white, and Quandrix, green-blue. So these are all the enemy colors. And in our set boosters, we should be able to get at least one rare or mythic red. This is what it says on the box maybe more you never know a guaranteed foil and an art card and uh, we also might be able to pull an exciting card from magic history which is what they're referring to there is the list so in set boosters they're saying that this is more of a collector's product so they have included uh, a list of cards from across magic's history and time span and reprinted some of those to go into the set boosters so these aren't normally like draft boosters so where you get your commons uncommons and rares slash mythics if you're that lucky so we're going to be uh, looking to see what we have in here let's go and open this up right now Put in the goods but the only thing that you know we're good not the only thing but one of the things we're going to be looking for in this is we're actually going to be looking for the mystical archive cards which are basically these new printed promos that they've done for this set and I've seen the art and it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning and I'm really, really excited to see if we get any of the Mystical Archive cards. So you would normally get one in a, in a regular booster. Um, a regular draft booster. So you get one in every single one. And I actually had a little seal pool earlier. So let me just show you what these uh, are kind of looking like. These are some of the finest cards I've ever seen. Like This is Revitalize. And then Shark. And then the reprint of Grape Shark. Now, I'm not sure, um, there's two different varieties of these. I know you're going to be able to get them in collector's boosters, and when I get those in, I'm going to do another box open and get that. This is the, uh, the English version, but the other version is a Japanese version, which is really, really sick as well. It features Edo-era style art. So, let's have a look-see. Let's see what we got. So, we've got about 24 boosters here, so it should be like three packs, three stacks of eight. Get rid of the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so 30, is it? So I am corrected. So we're looking at 30 boosters. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, 30 boosters there. Gonna put those up top just out of this view. And let's just start by just getting cracker packing. So we might have to have like a little sniff of the card, so take those uh, off screen first because getting you uh, cards is always a joy and right on top we already see we've got a beautiful art card there I'm not sure what this is but let's have a look see on the back side and it is the Shadewing Laureate Igor Kirillak um, 
number 40 out of 81. And it is just beautiful. They've really gone over and above on the art on this set. It really is nice. I want a quick sniff. So excuse me there. Ah, there's nothing like just like good paper magic cards. And let's see what we get. So we'll put our, our cards up here a bit. Then we're going to get a land. So new in this set, they've included a new type of card. So it's a lesson. So it's denoted here by the little, um, little uh, quill on a scroll. And these are the cards that you can actually cast from your sideboard. So uh, definitely a way to access your sideboard while um, in the game instead of just having to wait in between games to sideboard in. So what we'll do is we'll come across spells which actually say learn and that allows you to pull like a lesson card out. So Serpentine Curve, Biomathematician, Leyline Invocation, Creates a zero zero blue and fractal creature token. Put one one counters on it, and X is the number of lands you control. Brilliant. I mean, how can you go wrong? Six mana, big spell. So it looks like there's going to be lots and lots of uh, tokens in this. Lots and lots of counters, and lots and lots of spells. Um, enemy color set. So lots and lots of goal cards. So we'll see if, uh, what we get into here. Vortex Runner, Archway Commons. All right. So. Here we go, our Uncommons, Umbral Duke, Callus of Blood Mage is a rare, nice, and then we get, ooh, we get a nice mythic, uh, mystical archive card in Infuriate. And this uh, foil is going to be infused with vitality. So I think our Commons and uh, Uncommons are all just going to go together over there. We're going to keep a stack of our, put the foils over there, and token. No need to tokens. All right. So I'll keep our rares and mystical archive cards and we'll see if we get lucky enough to get anything from the list. Nice, beautiful. Look at the colors on that thing. Really pops out on it from it, doesn't it? And these are really nice glossy cards. And this one is uh, Frostboil Snarl. So this is from the uh, Red Blue Dual Land. Introduction to Annihilation, first year class, an eager first year, spiteful squad, arrogant poet, silver core campus. So there is a, a few different um, dual lands in here. There's a common cycle, which allows you to pay to scry. And then there's also a rare cycle as well for one for each of the colleges. So some people have been saying that this is kind of like um, Harry Potter, where it's magic gone to Hogwarts, which is kind of amusing with each of the different uh, houses and colleges as he flunk. <laughs> I do like the, some of the names, they are really funny and very thematic. They've gone really like well on the top down theme here, like I'm flunking out of my class. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until ends of turn. A rushed rebirth. I'm gonna have to come back with like a lot of the prices here later because I'm actually not quite sure where the prices is going. We've got the thrill of possibility and divide by zero. Prismari Art Club. Please join the art club. I was always in like the chess club or the fencing club or something stupid like that. All right, let's see what do we got here. The Dragon Guard Elite. So I believe this is the buyer box promo. I think is the not the alternate art for that, but but a nice old two-drop rare. Oh, and right off the bat here, we go for the lesson. So it looks like lesson in every every pack is always going to be the first card. And we've got a rare here, basic conjuration. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Now put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. You gain three life twin score shaman make your mark relic sloth this is very much a law hold pack we just had like a pack that was like very uh silver quill a lot of uh the black whites illustrious historian excavated wall zimone quantix prodigy so again um each of the colleges i mean there's a few cycles i think is what is a 20 different cycles in this set so quite a lot 
And one of them being is a, an uncommon legendary for each of the color pairs. Divisive Denial. Didn't we just have that? Nope. I must have just missed it. And then we have a Strict Proctor. And ooh, nice compulsive research. Oh, and we get Auric Law Mage. And, oh, this is a Bonza pack, this one is. This is great. So we get the Foil Auric. We get Compulsive Research, which is amazing. We get Strict Protect Proctor. Which I'm not quite sure if that's actually good or not. It sounds pretty good. Whenever a permanent entry on the battlefield causes a triggered ability, counter that ability unless it's a controller pace too. Yeah, well, with if there's ETBs uh, creating lots of tokens, you definitely want that one on your side. And Auric Law Mage is actually pretty decent. I think that's a little, a little pricey little number, but underneath our first card from the list, Iterative Analysis from Conspiracy. I can't remember if this was from Conspiracy um, Take the Crown or the first one. But I do love a bit of Conspiracy. That is a fun, fun game. It's a nice variation to play. If you get a chance, uh, try and draft it with some friends. You'll have a blast. Pest Summoning for the Witherbloom uh, College there. Get Needlethor Drake, Reckless Amplifier, Burog Befuddler, Arcane Subtraction, Square Up. And even like, you know, the common art, they really held nothing back. I mean, look at some of this stuff. It's really, really cool. Serpentine Curve is beautiful as well. Dueling Coach. Rushed Wreath Birth for our rare here. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I've been kind of hoping that this would happen, but I'm actually amazed that it has. Electri Electrolyze, awesome, for our Mythic Archive. But boom. Oh, I was really hoping for something juicy here. The claim the firstborn, no. But a foil mystical archive card. How nice is that? Ooh, back that up with a grizzly fate. I'm actually not sure. Is that a judgment, is it? Grizzly fate comes from? Probably not worth a, a bunch, but then again, I could be very, very wrong. Like I said. After this uh, video is done, I'm going to have to check the prices and see uh, what we got. If I find any good juicy stuff, I'll definitely put it up maybe in the show notes. But look at that. like Just incredible. I mean, the art of like magic is really like one of the things that really draws me to this game. Reduced to memory. Put that for our uh, uncommon lemon, uh, lesson down here. Lemon. Study Break, Archivist, Bury in the Books, Reject. Oh, just the look on that. Curate, Biblioplex Assistance, Expressive Iteration. There we go, that's the Dragon's Guard Elite. So we actually get the matching rare to go with the matching art. When I keep it in my binders, I always put this this right on top and uh, if I can I can dig out later the uh, buyer box promo so you can see that they are different but the Jagger's Guard Elite oh my what channel oh my word look at that beautiful little thing there what a great card fuming effigies are foil there and totally lost yes maybe i'm really really curious i would really like to know like how much channel is right now but seeing as i'm filming this on my little ios probably not going to be happening we don't have ourselves a proper full rig yet so this is why maybe the quality is not so good but that's a nice card primal command got nice Academic Probation is a um, rare here. Choose one. Choose an online card name. Opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name until your next turn. Choose target an online permanent until your next turn. A card's attack block and his activated abilities can't be activated. Sweet little lesson. Imagine pulling that out of your sideboard and just nerfing your friend. 
as they pull something back from the uh, graveyard. Professor's warning, letter of acceptance. I mean, that's like complete Harry Potter. Remember those letters come flying in through the um, through the letterbox as the Dursleys are all like diving behind couches for cover. First day of class, first year, spiteful squad. People are calling this, uh, what was it, LSV said it was Mean Girls. Definitely looks like very, very Mean Girls. Master Symmetrist, divide by zero. Here we go, this is our um, rare cycle of lands. As Vine Glimmer Snarl enters the battlefield, you may reveal a forest or an island from your hand. If you don't, Vine Glimmer Snarl enters the battlefield tapped. Ooh, Snakeskin Veil. I'm going to keep that, kind of tuck that underneath there. Probably need to make separate piles. Burog the Fuddler and Duggan. That channel is uh, probably the finest thing we've pulled out so far. With a big old worm. Island Pest Summoning, we've got that one. Twin Scream, uh, Twin Score Shaman, Mickey Mark, Relic Sloth, Historian. Almost like came in the exact order as the other. Um, the other booster, I wonder if this thing can be mapped. Detention Vortex, Syndicate Rendezvous, Sparring Regiment, a good solid white one. Ooh, we get a Mythic, our first Mythic. So Black's Vexing Pest. Uh, other pests, bats, insects, snakes, and the spiders you control get plus one, plus one. When Black's Vexing Pest dies, you gain four life. And this is one of the modal double face cards. Uh oh, I'm seeing shinies. Oh, ooh, increasing vengeance. Oops, and there I go, flicking cards everywhere. So we've got a double mythic here. Mythic, mythic, what? And search for blacks on the other side. So modal double face cards are coming back in this set again. I mean, they were lots of fun in um, Zendikar when they were first debuted, but it was more kind of like lands. Is it land? Is it a spell? Very, they are. Uh, um, utilitarian and um, they got a little bit more crazy and wild in Kaldheim increasing vengeance nice oops and then they beat me defense and now they're bringing them back again with the uh, cycle I believe is creatures on one side spells on the other so they're really like going like uh, all the different angles of these modal double face cards I mean it was spell lands and now we don't even know what to call them so let's see here Nice, the big old glasses. One of the professors there. Elemental summoning, like the ancient angel, general, Aegis guardian, study break, archivist, snow day, chip, prismari apprentice, Efreet flame painter. Okay, further. Nice, very nice. The wandering arcade. Now this card is meant to be a pain to play against. Whenever an opponent casts an instance or sorcery, they may pay two. If they don't, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. And it's a double phase. Explore the vast lands on the other side. And then here we have Opt and Pilgrim for the Ages. Magic mini game. So they've included this as kind of like a little rules sheet so you could actually use these set boosters to maybe play like a pack horse kind of game so it says two to six players one pack each take a turn memorizing magic cards and trying to stump your opponent with questions i might have to give this a whirl maybe if i this is worth uh, enough money in here then it's worth maybe getting another one we'll uh, look at maybe uh trying to game with that with some of the lads with our uh, gaming group. Almost looks like uh, it should be a uh, Tayo, the shield mage from War of the Sparks, doesn't it? Environmental Sciences, Alvin Shield Mage, Combat Professor, Pledge Mage, Campus, Enthusiastic Study, Go Blank, Stone Binders Familiar. Ooh, multiple choice. So this is a f one of those like fun, 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 like the flavor text is just so good. 
It's like multiple choice. And you do, you get multiple choice. But if X is, then you can do option uh, D, all of the above, of course. What such so clever they did with that. Oh, Dark Ritual, okay. Here we go. We're really hoping that we get like maybe a vampiric tutor is it I think is in here. More tokens. So I'm really, I'm really excited like for these mystical archive cards. They are really, really some of my favorite cards that they put out for a while. And everybody should know I am such a collector. So shiny land, mercurial transformation for our lesson. You get expelled. <laughs> Stonebound mentor, stone rise spirit, pillar drop warden, pilgrim of the ages, professor of symbology. So that was the art card we just had recently. Clever Luminanta and a double major. So again, just like, yeah, it's just great. Expel, double major, all the things that you could possibly do in college. Ooh, abundant harvest. Very nice. What am I doing? Wrong pile. Wrong pile. And a shiny field trip. Always love field trips when uh, I was in high school. We would uh, have to go to the local theme park, which is Alton Towers. This looks like uh, Shadrick Silverquill. Is that how I say it? Shadrick's Silverquill. So the uh, one of the namesakes of the co colleges. They're all Elder Dragons. They're in the set too. Haven't actually come across one of those yet. But uh, hoping to. Environmental Science. Field Trip. Depth. Pledge Me. Campus. Big Play. Frost Trickster, Mascot Interception, Vine Glimmer Snarl. So we'll be actually be able to match up a lot of the art with a lot of these. Negate, and a Waterfall Aerialist. Pretty, pretty shiny though. So we're coming down to probably about like halfway through where we've had one shiny Mystical Archive and only two of the uh, list cards, let's see. Let's go, let's put on some like, good stuff in here, good stuff. All right, Fractal Summoning, Biomathematician, Cation. Okay, Karak Wrangler, Tenured Ink Caster. Ooh, nice, another one. Modal Double Face card, Valatin, Dean of the Vein. And on the back side, it, it turns into Lizette, Dean of the Root. So a one mana black warlock and a four mana uh, human druid. So this goes obviously with our Witherbloom College. And we get a Thrill of Possibility and an Ether Helix. So how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll take from that one. And we haven't really seen too many shiny mythics or shiny rares yet. Just really like the one or two. Arrogant Poet. The Golden Ratio. Look at that from the... Uh, Finabachi sequence or the Finabachi spiral. Very uh, quandrix y uh, pack, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, culmination of studies. Oh, we get another shiny mystic mythical archive. Mystical archive. Mythical, mystical. We get duress and we get a shiny shark. We already have a shock, but a shiny one's always nice. We want to see hopefully a few more foils of those with the various rarities it would be really, really nice. All right, we've got two more before we get halfway through. A 
the little uh, wolfy fox. Oh, it's Mila, crafty companion of uh, Luca, I believe it is. So if one of the few planeswalkers in the set, that would be beautiful to see. I would really love to see a nice little uh, Professor Onyx, a.k.a. Liliana. Introduction to Prophecy, a Tome Shredder, Thrilling Discovery, Solve the Equation, Plum the Forbid Forbidden, Mage Hunter, Access Tunnel, and the first of the, quant uh, the uh, command cycles. So just like they had in, what was it, uh, Dragons and uh, Khan's Attack here, they had the different command cycle. So this is uh, Quandrix Command, they brought this back. Then we have Double Rare, nice, Double Rares are always good. That's the Selfless Glyph Weaver. And on the other side we have a spell. Let's turn that over so we don't get to ruin the surprise. We're learning as we go, people, learning. Deadly Vanity. Eight mana, choose a creature or planeswalker, then destroy all of the creatures and planeswalkers for a board wipe. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Yeah, if you just cast that in the same turn, cast this, or you have it out, exile it, and then cast the other side, would be amazing. Uh, let's see. Ooh, counterspell. Very pretty, isn't it? That's a nice card. And campus guide for our shiny. All right, last one, 50%. Let's hope we get some more list cards. Let's hope we get some more shiny archive cards. Bury in the books, reject. <laughs> that card just cracks me up. Curate. Creative Outburst, Spell Satchel, Go to School with my bag, Storm Kiln Artist, Team Pennant, Hall of Oracles, okay. So, uh, Rare Land here, and another. Did we already have a Cultivate? I don't think we did. But. So at least we're, uh, I think there's 32 different, is it 32 different uh, Mystical Archive cards? Or maybe more. All right, getting into the second half, really hoping to pull some Mythics here. We've been very Mythic light. Um, we want to pull more, definitely more shiny Archive cards. We'd like to pull a little bit more from the list as well, just to get some there, uh, see what uh, other goodies they might have on there. So let's go, let's get lucky, let's get lucky indeed. Containment Breach, Needlethorn Drake, Reckless Amplimancer, Brog Befuddler, Arcane Subtraction, Square Up, Maelstrom Muse, Verdant Mastery. For the rare there, ooh, there we go, get a mythic, nice. Blot out the sky. Create X to one white and black inkling tokens with flying. If X is six or more, destroy all non-creature, non-land permanents. So what comes first? Tokens or destroy everything? Hmm. Probably just destroy everything and then get your tokens. Ooh, nice. Approach of the second sun. It's kind of funny how they've taken all the cards because they made it, give it fancy art. And then they'll all of a sudden bump up the rarity. So Approach used to be uh, from, what was it, Amonkhet. And it uh, used to be a rare. But now, of course, Fancy Art, Mythic Rare. And Bayou Groth. Ooh, we get a little spell book here from Magic X. Basically, to, what was that, Corset 10, was it? You have no maximum hand side. Create Commander card. Zero uh, mana cost might be worth like a penny or two. We'll have to check. Like I said, we'll be checking prices after where we record here. Oh, so that actually kind of escaped me. Two different mini games apparently: Careful Study and Strictly Better. So this one is three to six using three to six packs. 
So draft to uh, seal pool here, all right. Huh. Check out the rules for that one as well. Maybe something to do on like a long flight. Shiny land, juice to memory, wall, shredder. I think we've seen pretty much all of these. Stonebow Mentor, Rip Apart, Grinning Ignis, Dream Strix. Little uh, three mana, three, two flyer. Growth Spiral, okay. Pretty sure that that was banned. I wonder uh, how many of these are actually banned in like standard and historic. And actually how many are going to be allowed in. Jumping through hoops, how I feel sometimes. The introduction to prophecy, charge through, mage duel, dragon's approach, heated debate, battle seer, research, explosive Vulcan, shine shadow snarl, okay, defiant strike, and the big play. Oh, that's pretty sweet art right there, isn't it? Really nice. Land, Elemental Summoning, is Twin Scroll Shaman, Make Your Mark, Relic Sloth, Dust Beaker, Excavation, Quintorius Field Historian, and our rare is Fervent Mastery. Ooh, double rare, okay. Plague, Dean of Chaos. On the back side, we have Augusta, Dean of Order, Chaos and Order, playing the little yin yangy. Revitalize for our archive card. And the foil carrot. So, no planeswalkers yet. No uh, Elder Dragons. A few good cards here and there. And I really am wondering again, is this product actually worth it? How about you let me know? I do have comments enabled below. Love to get a little bit of feedback, how are we doing? Um, if you have any thoughts or anything else, please leave them there. We get a second a command here, another shock, and the Kelpie Guide. Ooh, Chemist's Insight. Pretty, I have probably like. Hundreds of these also from uh, when we were playing Ravnica. So I really wish, like, if they were doing cards from the quote unquote the list, that they wouldn't really include such uh, recent sets to pull cards from. Uh, there, Swamp, Inkling. I must say, like, out of all of them, I think the Inklings are definitely the best looking of the token bunch. Like, that just looks like a little like fun, impy kind of thing that I would want to be able to conjure. Stone Rise Spirit, Hall Monitor, Detention Vortex, oh, Detention. Don't piss off the uh, the teacher. Detention. Secret rendezvous. Not a card to play in limited. Probably not a card to play mm, ever. Maybe in commander. Rip apart. And another double major. I think we've got enough double majors for this evening. Pop quiz. Ooh, dark ritual. Our second dark ritual there. Pop quiz. Who knows? Fractals. All right. Coming down to the nitty gritty. Two thirds of the way through. Leaning in a looking mage there. A couple of inklings in the background. Natomy, pledge bead. So it looks like they have gone a little heavy on the colleges. Like some of these. 
almost like a theme or set booster. So I call it as a set booster, almost like a theme booster in it. Uh, Kelpie guide, but another blot out the sky. Ooh, another channel. Look at that thing. That's beautiful, isn't it? Wish it was a shiny, but it's all good. No complaints there. But another channel. Uh, looks like Kazmina here. Start from scratch. Assistance. Zephyr boots. Creature has flying. Okay, cool. Semester's end. We would all like everything to end. Ooh, Divine Gambit. Nice art. But uh, not a card I'd be playing. Uh, gee, very funny. Just had a Wednesday uh, draft, and it was our last chance to draft uh, Cal time before this, and my uh, opponent decided to play Divine Gambit, and I was able to play a... Um, what's his name? The uh, Planeswalker. The Seven Man of Planeswalker. I'm going to have to think of that one. Ooh, but a shiny Glyph Weaver. Shiny, shiny rare. Oh, there's a shiny modal double rare as well. Deadly Vanity on the other side. But anyway, don't play Divine Gambit. If not, your opponent's going to start putting seven mana Planeswalkers into play on turn four, even without the right colours. Just a, just a hint, folks. Nice uh, bunch of pages flying out of the, of the book. Illuminate History is a rare. Nice. It's a nice little lesson. Pull this out of your sideboard. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. If there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, Create a 3-2 red-white serpent creature. See, I wonder if this is going to like really mess up Commander by having, you know, you're going to have that wish board on the side now. Field trip. So you say adapt. Closing statement. Humiliate. Shadewing laureate. Thunderous orator. And multiple choice again. Ooh, another one. We got a Kian Dina substance. And on the other side, it will turns into Ibrahim Dean of Theory. Little bird wizard. See, strategic planning again. Okay. Getting uh, quite a few repeats here. All right. Four, six boosters left. Bang. Which of the Elder Dragons is this? Belladross Witherbloom. Nice. Now I'd like the uh, Elder Dragon to compliment, please. Spirit Summoning. Da -da, da -da. All right. Okay. Shalil Dean of Radiance. And the other side we have Ambrose, Dean of Shadow. Okay. Silver Quill here, and back that up with a Jeress, Shiny Study Break, and a Moldavine Reclamation. Again, not too excited, really, about getting like M20 cards and Ravna car cards. If it's something off the list, it's something from modern, like from Magic's history. It should be from like a period long, long time ago, not in like the last like year or so. Who is this bird? Oh, there you go. She's a little Dean of Radiance. We just had you. There you go. Nice. I do really like pairing them up when I put them into my collection. Historian, Excavator Wall. Construct History, Law Hold Apprentice. Return Pest Caller. Okay. Draconic Intervention. Nice for our rear. And... Adventurous Impulse, Ramping, Ramping, Clever Luminanza. What is the list? One in four set boosters contain a card handpicked from Magic's history. One in four, they say. One, two, three, four, five. Right now, so out of 20, we've opened close to 30. We're a little bit shy of one in four.
but they have about four packs to redeem themselves, don't they? Little uh, mage there, shiny mountain, necrotic fumes, serpentine curve, biomathematician, leyline invocation, eureka moment, snow day. We all love snow days. Don't get many of those here in Hawaii. Prismari Apprentice, Creative Outburst, that's just so artistic and creative. Fury Calm, Snarl, nice, another counter spell, and a shiny spell satchel. Ooh, Light of the Sage. <laughs> I swear, the last three of these are just like so recent that I quite quite disappointed but we'll see see if anything else kind of churns out like i said i don't think they should be doing the list from anything within like the past a like, couple years Ooh, what is this a signed copy of first of our signed cards there nice little foil signature on dina soul steeper by chris ron beautiful artwork chris absolutely beautiful Ooh, we start off with Teachings of the Arcade. Absolute garbage rare, but a uh, nice little lesson. Archivist, burying the books, reject. It still just makes me laugh. Curate, assistant, show of confidence. Yeah, they look pretty confident to me. Nice. The Vinda Student's Advocate. Very, very nice. The uh, little bird advisor, given the uh, young mage. Some advice. Nice old mythic rare. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Double mythic. Sweet. You love that. Jadzi Oracle of Arcavius. Human wizard. And on the other side, we have Journey to the Oracle, a sorcery. You may put any number of land cards from your hand onto the battlefield. And if you control eight or more lands, you may discard a card. If you do, return Journey to the Oracle to its owner's hand. Mm, okay bouncing back that but nice double mythic oh. it would have been nice to go one two three that would have been sweet okay leech fanatic ooh Hidetsu's second ritual nice nice card from the list yeah yeah is that from uh, champions of Kamigawa I have to look it up but very, very nice. So they're getting up there. They're getting up there, giving them a chance. Got two boosters left. We'll see if they live up to their one in four promise. We should have probably about seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, there we go. Seven. So they actually are one in four. 28. Nice. Very, very nice art there. What is that one? Rise of Et. Lots of law hold cards, basically a whole pack of law hold. Pretty much sparring. Ooh, agonizing remorse, explosive welcome. Ooh, Dominarios. And what is Dominarios all about? Another little side game. So actually been quite clever here, just you know, including these little side games for people to play. Because a lot of people were like, you know, like me. I really like draft boosters. Why? Because I can draft from them. And I can also open them. And really get cool stuff out of them. But it's nice that they've included these old like magic mini games as a way to do something with your set boosters. Not just kind of just open them for fun like we are today. All right. Last pack coming. All righty. This is our Arrogant Poet, in case you didn't know it, by Billy Christian. Thanks, Billy. Hey, Billy. Nice art. Summoning, sudden breakthrough, a mental masterpiece, a re-sculpt. See, we're still coming across commons that we haven't even, like, cars we haven't even seen before. Mentor's Guidance, Test of Talents, Flunk, that's what I did in school, Go Bank everything I did on every single test. 
combination of studies snakeskin veil promising dusk mage and a secret lab promo card all right folks that is everything we will hope to see you probably next week when we're able to pick up our collector boosters hopefully or and or draft boosters but not a bad little haul again a little light on the mythic rares i feel like we're gonna have a look at like see if uh, some of our list cards are worth a bunch of coin but not bad got a couple of shiny shiny mystical archive cards but it's nice that there was one in every single pack i think uh counter spell and channel are probably going to be our uh, heavy hitters out of this bunch uh, but again we're gonna have to check the prices with just past pre-release weekend so you should be able to pick up everything else uh, next weekend i wish you all uh happy gaming good luck and have fun and that is everything from Aloha Ga Gaming. Much mahalo for tuning in. And aloha ho hui ho.